So today we're talking about the local markets for September. Continued trade war worries, a widely expected US Federal Reserve 25 basis point rate hike, and a more hawkish tone to the Fed's outlook in the post-meeting statement took their toll on the South African market. It was red across the board on the JSE for September, with the All Share Index closing 5% lower for the month. Index heavyweights Richmond down 11%, Naspers down 6.5%, and British American Tobacco down 6.5% were all major contributors to this drawdown. While emerging market currencies remained under pressure, there was some degree of a rebound, which the RAND traced fairly closely. A successful refinancing arrangement concluded by one of Turkey's largest banks, and the promise of higher and more frequent bailout payments from the IMF to Argentina both had a positive impact on global EM sentiment. Worth noting, however, Despite the RAND's 3.7% rebound in September, the currency is still 14.7% weaker versus the dollar year to date. On the macro front, South Africa entered a technical recession, the first since 2009, as GDP data showed that the economy shrank for a second consecutive quarter. According to StatsSA, the local economy shrank 70 basis points in the second quarter, following a revised 2.6% contraction in the first quarter. CPI the core measure of inflation slowed unexpectedly to 4.9% year-on-year, down from 5.1% in July. Despite slowing inflation and anemic GDP growth, the Saab Policy Committee left the repo rate unchanged at 6.5% at its September meeting, citing an expected increase in inflation later this year. On the fiscal front, President Ramaphosa announced a 50 billion rand stimulus package in September. And while many criticized it for representing a redirection of existing spend rather than an incremental spend, others saw it as a good start. Mineral Resources Minister Gwede Mantashe published the latest revisions to the mining charter, with a few changes made mostly well received and likely to be viewed as a positive by the mining industry.